Hey guys, Coach Sean and Felipe here. Nice to see everybody virtually. Uh, we hope everybody's staying safe in the house and we understand that at this time, nobody can get out there to practice. We're gonna give you guys some stuff that you can do in the house. Obviously, we'd like to be on the court, but we can't. So these are the things that we're able to give to you guys uh, to then have you guys be able to practice that you come back to playing tennis, not feeling rusty and feeling on top of your game. All right, so we're not gonna be with you guys, obviously, um, but you guys have to find the motivation to do these things just so you can stay you know, focused on tennis, you know, getting better at tennis. Even if you guys can't hit right now, it's, uh, these workouts will be really good for you. Yeah, so we're not gonna be there, right? We're not gonna be there to give you the burpees if you don't do the sets, right? We're not gonna be there to be telling you to do one more, right? It's gonna be on you. It's gonna be on you to push yourself to that extra set. It's gonna be on you to make sure that you are doing proper form in those, even though no one, uh, no one's watching you and making you guys do that, right? Okay, and then we're gonna give you guys a series of workouts now that you guys can do, and you guys can pick from it that will make it at least an hour, okay? Try to work out at least an hour from these workouts. The following are gonna be some like tennis exercises, okay, that you should work into the workout. These are gonna include swings and footwork, all right? The first one is gonna be open stance versus close stance swings. All right, it's gonna look like this. Foot step. Take that right back before we get around the first go, right? Foot step. Take that. Open stance, hit, recover, split step, take back, close stance, hit, recover, split step, take back, right before I get it past the comp, take back. So now we're going to do volleys, and to do volleys we really want you guys to get low, so after you guys chop, we're going to force you to touch the cone, so it's going to look like this, split step, up, chop, touch the cone, jump back, split step, chop, touch the cone, Cover. Foot step. All right, guys, now we want you to practice those ground stroke swings while getting low, too, for those short pulls. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to split step, take back before you get to this cone, shuffle up, swing when you get to the first cone, then shuffle forward and touch that second cone before you come back. That's going to help you stay into that ball, right? So split step, take back, shuffle forward, swing, shuffle forward, touch, back pedal, right? Split step, take back, shuffle forward. Swing, shuffle forward, touch, back touch, split step. So now we, we want you guys to make a series of shots like it's an actual point. Uh, don't make it too ridiculous, just make it, you know, something a little more realistic, something that, that you guys will see in an actual point, okay? So for instance, mine is split step, forehand, recover, split step, backhand, recover, split step, attacking forehand, hit, volley. Fuck. Nasty. As we just finished the tennis portion of the video, now we're gonna go into core workouts, your favorite in fitness. Now with Russian twists, okay? So here's how it goes. Legs are off the ground, you're kind of in a angle here, and then you're gonna go one, two, three, four. Really twisting your body, okay? Going back and forth. Okay, your next workout are leg raises, okay? So you want your body fully extended, okay? And then my whole body's on the ground. You guys are gonna go one all the way up, two all the way up, three all the way up, four all the way up. Okay, your next workout is mountain climbers, okay? So, hands like this, okay? And you guys just push up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, your very last core workout is planks, okay? We all know how to do that. Okay, we want to be at a whole 180 degree angle. Our back is not scrunching up like this or anything like that. We are at a 180 degree angle the whole time. All right guys, so that does it for core. Uh, now we're gonna move on to the next portion of the workout, which is gonna be footwork. Um, a lot of these, we're still gonna have you hold that rack in your hands so you stay comfortable with that racket. All right guys, so the first one we're gonna do, we're gonna be shuffling airplanes with your racket taken back on the forehand side. All right, so let's go like this. Get there, shuffle around, right? Touch the next one. Shuffle around, touch the next one. Shuffle around, touch the next one. You gotta get really low while you do these. These are tiring, don't touch those cones, right? If you touch the cone, you start over, right? Keep that racket still the entire time, right? You notice how my racket's in the take back position. Once you're done with that, you can do the same thing going backwards, right? Here we go, shuffle through, right? Here we go, shuffle through. Leaving that racket still the entire time. Look, I go back through the same one I came and I come around to the next side, right? Back through the same one, around on the next side. And then you hit. 
right? Then you can go back forward again. Right? All right, so now you can do that same thing going through uh, facing forward. And I'm gonna do this one on the back hand. Anytime you do it on the back hand, you can take that back with one hand here, right, in the same place it would be. All right, and you can touch up and try to All right, so let's go touch. Forward and back, right? Touch. Forward and back, right? Touch. Forward and back, right? Touch. In between every single one of them, right? Only after you've run past it, you can touch it. All right, get there, swing, and then you could do the same thing going back. Right, forward and back, touch. Right, forward and back, touch. Right, so you can do both those moves forward and back. All right, guys, so this next game is a, another footwork game where one player is going to be following the other player touching the cones, okay? So one player is going to be um, the toucher, they're going to touch a cone, and then the follower is going to try to touch that same exact cone, all right? So the toucher is going to try to be fast, and make sure that the follower can't follow them. They can also fake touch a cone, right? And see if they can get the follower to touch a cone uh, that they never actually touched, right? So uh, let's see how it goes. Usually you can do this for 20 or 30 seconds or however long. We're gonna do it for about 20 seconds. All right? Three, two, three. All right, so that was good. Yo, for real though, hand sanitizer, right? Hand sanitizer. Thank you, thank you, thank there you. Go. There we go. <laughs> okay, so we just finished footwork. Now we're gonna go into plyometrics and a bunch of explosive leg workouts. That'll be really good for you guys, especially uh, playing tennis for later on. All right guys, so the first workout we're gonna do is squat jumps, all right? So these seem easy, but they're actually extremely tiring uh, if you do them correctly, right? So pick a distance for yourself, how long you're gonna do it, and you do these squat jumps, all right? So let's watch me, I'm gonna go to the end of the court. All right, you get really low, pump those arms up, and jump as high as you can. All right. And you're jumping for height, right? You want to get height. Don't just jump for distance, right? Get that height. All right. Then you can turn around and you can go back. Right? All right, guys, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to do squat jumps, but you're going to do them one-legged, right, on each leg. So this is what this looks like. All right, so use this other leg for momentum. Get low and boom. Right? Try and keep your balance while you're doing this. And you're still going for height, right? Really try and explode up. All right, and keep your balance. Push, right? Push. Push. All right, so keep your balance while you're doing those. Go for height, not just for distance. And, uh, and make sure you're using that arm and that leg for momentum. All right? All right, guys, so this next one that you're going to do, this is the brutalizer, right? It's really tough. It's like a pyramid um, style uh, workout with squats, static squats, as well as squat jumps. All right, so the way it works is you're gonna start with a five second static squat, then you can do five squat jumps, okay? Then you can do a seven second static squat, then you do four squat jumps. All right, then a nine second static squat, you do three squat jumps. In the interest of time, I'm not gonna do the entire thing, but basically it'll look like this, right? One, two, three, four, five. Now do five squat jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Then I do seven seconds. One, two, three, Four, five, then do four squat jumps, right? One, two, three, four. All right, then I go back to my nine second squat and I do three squat jumps. All right, guys, so that does it for uh, the plyometrics and explosiveness with the legs. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on stability, all right? So this also got a lot to do with your legs, all right, but this is more about staying in place, okay? This is, this is something that can really help you get to the next level when people start banging those balls pretty hard right? You got to be able to stay in place and be able to handle that pace, right? And give it right back. All right. So here's the first exercise we're going to do. We're going to do a static squat and we're going to put our racket there and hold it there. All right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make swings while you hold that racket there. All right. One, we're going to see if we can get to 10, two, three, four, five, and try and swing as fast as you can, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, all right, so and what I did is I, I choked up on my racket so it didn't hit the ground. You may or may not have to do that. All right, but that'll be one that'll really help with your stability. All right, guys, so the next thing we're gonna do is still gonna work on that stability. We're gonna use one leg to squat, all right, and we're gonna make those swings while we're trying to keep our balance with one leg. Keeping your balance like that on one leg is gonna really help those small muscles all around your leg, as well as help you keep your balance while you're staying low, all right? So it looks like this. All right, you get nice and low, and then make those swings. I'm gonna use my back hand this time. Right, make those swings and try and keep your balance. It's actually pretty tough. Right? 
and you once again try to go to 10 on that or whatever number you find comfortable. And the lower you stay, all right, the better your balance is gonna be. All right, does that make sense? All right, guys, so this next one, uh, this last stability uh, one we're gonna do, you can do with this with two-leg squat, one-legged squat, left leg, right leg, but basically, you're gonna go into that squat, all right, and then you're gonna have somebody throw balls to you, all right? You catch it, all right, catch it, and then you throw them both back, all right? And then you could do that rapid fire, you could do that quicker, right? You could do that where um, they bounce it sometimes, right? You can really mix it up, right? Um, however you wanna do that, but this will help you keep your stability and keep your balance, right? while that person's uh, bouncing that to you or throwing it to you or they can go fast, right foot or right hand. All right guys, so we're gonna do, uh, here's another stability workout that you can do and this is a good one to do near the end of your workout because it requires a lot of concentration and a lot of balance, right? So this one really works on those little muscles, okay? It's not very explosive, it's not too terribly difficult, but um, if you do it right, then it will be hard. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these cups, all right, you're gonna go into a one-legged squat, all right? Stay nice and low, low with the leg, not with the, with the back, right? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put these cups down on the ground in three different spots, all right? Squat down, squat back up. Squat down, squat back up. And then you pick them up, right? Squat down, squat back up. Squat down, squat down with the leg, right? With the leg, and pick them up. All right, and you can do that as many times as you want until you feel like that's a good set for you. All right, guys, so that does it for the workouts that we are giving you. Uh, we hope you guys can find that helpful, and please do read the caption and you'll see how we want you guys to structure that workout. And while you're doing these workouts, we said this before, be honest with yourself, right? Set goals for yourself. If you're doing a set, then set a number that you're gonna go to, say 10, 15, and go to that number. Set it higher than you think you can have it, right? If you're gonna do squat jumps or, or anything else that's gonna have a distance, make a certain distance that you have to go through. Make a line that you're gonna have to finish through, right? And make sure that you get there and push yourself past what you think you can do. Okay, that's, that's the way that you can keep yourself honest. And, and another thing is, um, an, something that you can do is take a video of yourself while you're doing it. Take a video over 30 minutes of your workout, right? And you, and you don't have to use up all your memory, just delete it right after. Take the video and then after your workout, watch it and see if you feel like that was your maximum intensity. And you're gonna see yourself and, and, and you can lie all you want, but you can't lie to yourself when you look at that video and you decide, was that my maximum intensity or not, all right? So that's what I want you guys to do. Be honest with yourself while you're doing these workouts. This is gonna be a tough thing to do, but um, it's really gonna help you when we get back. So yeah, after you guys take a video of the workouts, pick one that you guys really liked and think you guys really worked hard on and share it with us. You know, We would love to see you guys training and working hard out there, so. So yeah guys, post it on the emergency Facebook page uh, and, and you get a lot of respect from the people on the page, right? Yes, especially from me. You get a lot of respect from Coach Felipe, right? He'll be, he'll be proud of you guys, so uh, I will as well. We'd love to see you guys. If you get one that you're proud of, please do post it. All right, and as a little bit extra motivation, hopefully for the kids, if you do a workout twice a week and you watch uh, the Zoom lesson, all right, so that means you're gonna be engaging three times a week with tennis. All right, I'll give you guys negative 25 burpees for every time your parents email me and tell me that you did that. Uh, for a whole week you did two workouts and you did one video lesson all right so hopefully you know if you do that every week by the time we get back out there on the court you'll have plenty of negative burpees you won't have to do burpees for a month all right so once again we really miss out getting out on the courts with you guys we're really looking forward uh to getting out there with you guys in the meantime everybody stay safe hoping to see everybody soon see you guys